Hey everybody, it's a crazy fango shy. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today is the sixth anniversary of Crazy Fango Reviews. And I literally, even as I'm saying it, I cannot even believe that it's been six years since we started this channel. And I had a look and I completely forgot that this started in 2018. Little old me. Um I cannot believe we've even come that far and that I'm now 25. Oh, <laughs> um, and yeah, that we've come to this sort of time and that we're here even. Uh, I thought I'd just do, I guess, a life update video, I guess, just to bring everybody up to speed on what's going on and, you know, I guess maybe talk about a little bit about possibly the future of what is to come on Crazy Fangirl, hopefully. But yeah, let's just have a chat and catch up. So yeah, um... I mean, first of all, I think maybe let's talk about how the channel's gone, I guess, like how, like what our favourite memories are, I guess. I, I remember when this first started <laughs> with my photography channel, uh, if you're from the original channel, Jesus Christ, I apologise. I went back recently and I like watched some videos and I'm like, oh Jesus Christ, cannot believe that people stuck around for that content. <laughs> but yeah, I think we've grown so much since then and I remember doing the first video of this channel, like introducing myself again and saying like, you know, the reactions are moving from that channel to this channel and it's official. And I even remember like the creation of Crazy Fango Reviews. I remember talking to my cousin, Julie, and obviously you guys know him, he's on the channel quite a bit in my videos. And him telling me like, no, you should actually make it into like a proper brand. I think people will love it. And you know, if people love you on that channel, I think they'd love you as a, you know, a new brand, like, under a new name. And I, I guess it goes to him. Thank you, Julian, for giving me that idea in the first place. And I remember trying to think of a name, like, Crazy Fangirl came the first thing, because I, I am crazy. I do have some crazy reactions to things, just because I am a lover of content. So, I remember so many people telling me not to do it. People were like, no, Shimi, don't do it. Like, people won't watch you if you have that name. And then... Mm, here we are. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I embrace my craziness. A lot of people don't like it, which is, you know, part of life. But I don't know. I accept it because that's me. And, you know, you can't really deny a part of yourself. So, yeah, I am the crazy fangirl. <laughs> Going on to, like, talking more about, like, the channel. Um, I, I, I remember when this channel blew up, which was mainly during COVID. Um, and it, we, we really blew up with the wonder, like, reactions and Star Wars especially um, and I remember getting so many messages from people and this is what I love and this is what really made pushed me to do more Star Wars is because so many girls reached out to me and they were like oh my god like it's so nice to see like a woman doing reactions to Star Wars and after I did that I found that there were a lot of other YouTubers who were women reacting to Star Wars and it's so nice because I know that you know Star Wars a lot of guys and even there's this trend I think not now but there was a trend recently going around that Star Wars should just be a boy thing and it's like no like there is women in this. It's about war and it's about stories that are being told about surviving a revolution. Oh, the women have to be involved. What do you expect? And also just the stories, they are stories. They're meant to touch everybody. They're supposed to relate to everybody. Like man, woman, whatever you <laughs> are pronoun wise, you can relate to it however you want. And that's why I feel like with Star Wars, it's such a generational thing and such a beautiful, um, I think, genre of stories to tell so that's why I, I really love that time of doing the reactions to especially Mandalorian at the time oh god my reaction <laughs> to season two um that was huge and had so much support from everybody on that one so thank you to the people who have stuck around since then um that was such a huge time for the channel and I can't forget my Outlanders and Shadowhunters, y'all were so good too at the beginning. Um, I know I've stopped obviously reacting to Shadowhunters because the show ended, but also Outlander. Just because again, it's so hard to get that show available unless it's after years of it being on Netflix. So it's like, I'm waiting. There will be a time when I react to it. I actually haven't watched any of the recent seasons, so don't worry. We'll probably catch up on them <laughs> in due time. And then of course, I think, yeah, it's sort of like we went we went through the phases of Marvel, which was really, really fun. But then, yeah, we got a little bit of Marvel fatigue, I think, especially me. Like, I, I think especially, like, post-Endgame, there should have been a massive break. 
not just a year. I think it would have been nice to have like a couple of years and then they come back with new stories and an actual proper plan because it feels like it's very all over the place at the moment. I have watched a few of the movies. Some of them are good. Oh, there's like a little fruit fly in here. <laughs> I have watched some of the stuff, but it hasn't captured me as it has before Endgame. Oh, the Endgame, the Endgame time frame and just like the Infinity stories. It's just so well done. It's just like, obviously it'll never be replicated, but I think they need a proper plan before go going into like a new phase. So hopefully they will. I think another massive hit that happened on our channel was the Andor series. Oh my God. The, that, I cannot wait for season two. Like I am definitely going to be reacting to that because season one, just the fact that this was Star Wars and talking about actual like revolutionary like stories and like actually getting into these dark and gritty like moments was something I loved especially like Tony I think it's Tony Gilroy I think that's his name or I can't remember his name apologies but like he led that show beautifully and then obviously we had Diego Luna at the head of the show and oh my god it's just so good perfect and I went back and I've watched it recently and the, the story just is so good and it melds together so perfectly they know how to do the writing, they know what stories they're telling and how it's all like sort of like conjoined but different. It's just so good. And obviously we had our video game moments. We had Ghost of Tsushima, we had Final Fantasy first, the first one, the remake. And then we had Horizon, then we had Spider-Man, then we had Spider-Man 2, which was huge. Um, what else did we have last year? Oh, Final Fantasy 16. Oh, still one of my favorite games of all time. Um, and obviously we're making our way through a couple of games at the moment, which is uh, Rebirth, Final Fantasy Rebirth, and also Baldur's Gate, of course. And I have a couple more that I do want to play in future, especially on the channel, like, because obviously now that I have this PC set up, there's a lot of games on PC that I want to play, like Halo. I used to play the Halo series, but obviously when it moved to Xbox 360, that was years ago um when I first started playing Halo like when I first played Halo it was like on the original Xbox like the first ever Xbox and then they moved everything immediately to 360 and again that was when I was younger didn't have a lot of money and just you know we're not gonna buy all those things all the time not like now when I have <laughs> I have the funds to do that so now that I have a PC and it's on PC I'm hoping to play through the actual series properly um, and do a playthrough on that. Hopefully that will be so much fun, I think. And maybe even a few indie games, like I need to find some, but I would love to play like anything that has anything to do with building. People know that I did a massive Minecraft series like on my channel, but I checked, I wanted to do it on PC, but you can't transfer the saves, which is annoying. And it's like, oh God. Like if I want to do it, I have to transfer, like play it off the PlayStation. So it's like, oh, okay, we'll see what happens. But hopefully I'll find a few building games that I'll like, and then we can hopefully try them on the channel. And I think now it's time to talk more about like what's currently been going on and sort of touch on what I talked about in my last video for 2023. Now people know that I was struggling a lot at the end of 2023, especially because of my, my job and trying to juggle everything. Last year was just, Reflecting on it was just hard work and just burnout completely from the whole year. Um, I may have gotten savings, I may have gotten it to travel, which was amazing, but it all led to massive burnout and just like I think my emotional regulation is still stuffed up, just like pretty all over the place. And yeah, there's some major changes that have happened now. I can say this now that I have put my resignation in, which is oh, amazing. But now it's time to try and find something else, which is always the hard part. I, and I, I've had, and this is the thing that I've had to struggle with, I think, recently. A lot of people have challenged me on why I was going to do that. And like, I should probably try and find a safer job to be in before resigning. But it got to the point where I was so depressed and burnt out every single day. And I was struggling to just find something to be happy for. Like even if I have events coming up with friends or just even spending time with friends, I'd be so burnt out and exhausted after work, emotionally exhausted. I just couldn't handle it. And just, I didn't like it that I was like that too. Like I'd, I'd have people coming over and people being like, oh, I like, are you okay, Shy? Like, you know, what's going on and stuff like that. I'm like, oh, you know, like just work and stuff. But I'd be so drained. And I'd look at myself and I'm like, this is not who I am. Like, this is very different from who I usually am. And even with trying to do content, and even a few weeks ago, we had a Final Fantasy stream. And I felt like I let 
people down in that particular stream because I didn't have the energy that I usually had and that just felt so disappointing to me because I am so excited to play Final Fantasy but in that I just felt so tired and just so exhausted and just unable to bring what I usually bring to the table in terms of entertaining people and I just felt like no this is not okay. I didn't want that to lead or like affect the channel in any way too and I think that's why I've been trying or like avoiding coming back because I don't want to start something and then disappoint everybody because again like I've said this before like I take this channel so personally this place is like a safe home for me like it's a safe space oh god I gotta not get emotional um this is a safe space for me I've made it into a safe space for myself and for other people because I care about this so much um and for so long I've talked about this a little bit but just like with my mental health and stuff like I, I want to please everybody so badly, which is annoying, but like with this, this is like for me, this channel is like my home and I want it to do well and I want people to enjoy what I'm doing and just be at my best, which I know I can't always be at, but it's, it's such a tight, uh, like a tightrope situation. And I think that like that stress and that anxiety has been building not only on the channel, but also like in real life. So like, I feel like that's affecting the way that I am as well. So it's annoying, <laughs> but like, I want, again, like I'm such a people pleaser, which is such a terrible thing. Um, and you just want to do right by everybody with everything that you do. And it's so annoying. Cause it's like, I should put myself first as well. <laughs> and that's why I like, I want to get to a place where I do have a good job that's supporting me, but I'm able to do the things that I love, which is streaming, writing, and being there for the people that I care about as much as possible. But it's so hard because like, then you get, I don't know, like it's that thing of like getting judgment from other people and you're trying not to care about what they think, but also you do. And it's just hard, I don't know. <sighs> I think that comes a lot as well with just, yeah, I think time and like growth and age, I think. Cause a lot of people say like when they get older, they don't give a shit about what people think. I'm starting to, but it's just still really hard because when you're surrounded by a lot of people who do want the best for you but also the best for you may not always be what's best it's hard because you're just constantly being challenged and you can't sort of do what you want it's just oh. again it's sort of such a type rope with everything <laughs> I'm trying to get over that aspect though because I don't want to have that mindset and be shackled by that mindset to just constantly be at my best because that's when burnout happens <laughs> and I know that more than anyone I think because I'm such a perfectionist um and that's something I've been discussing with Hez like people know Hez from Baldur's Gate we do Baldur's Gate and there's another series coming that of video game that we're doing that he'll be involved in but um it's just like even he was saying like you know you've got it to the best that you can maybe per perfection isn't always needed like this is what like this is what you give this is the amazing content that you give don't worry about it being absolutely perfect that can either be worried about later or just don't worry about it at all because that's something I've been stressing about a lot too like and he was just like no 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 it's you know like they they're here for you and that's the main thing and just oh I needed to hear that <laughs> because it's just like you know you constantly worry about the quality of what you're putting out especially in streaming because you want it to look the best and you want it to look 100% clean but then when you don't get the results that you want it can be so exhausting and just oh like really really taxing on you and it's so annoying <laughs> I, I really am trying to get out of that mindset though I think in the last few months though it has been very like I don't know congested up here like in terms of my thoughts in terms of perfectionism and doing what's right by me and I'm trying, I think now this year is more about trying to make that right after what happened last year. And it's because I, I want to pursue what I love more, which includes this. It includes writing. As I've said many times, I'm working on my book. If you guys keep up on Instagram, it's been such an incredible journey these past few months. Even though it's been stressful, the moments that I get to write and the moments that I get to build my world has been so thrilling and so fulfilling for myself um 
and it means so much. Like, I really do get so much adrenaline and so much, like, um, drive from those moments. And so I really hope that I can make more leeway on that as well. and Or headway, sorry. <laughs> um, and make more, like, progress on my book. Because I would love to publish my book. Probably not this year, but whenever it's ready and whenever it's time. I cannot wait for the people to read that and get to see my world. Now, going back to the channel. I know that there's a lot of things coming up that I would love to react to and I will try. I will try my best to react to them as much as I can. Because I know we have a couple of things coming up in terms of Star Wars. Um, obviously Andor I think is coming out this year like either they rumored it to be this year or it's early next year from memory but I might be wrong people can correct me on that but there is a few things that I would like to react to um, and I hope people will just really enjoy what I have to bring to the table and reflecting on the past six years I would love to just I guess come back to this as much as possible not all the time I think as much as I used to but at least come back do some streaming, do a few reactions, um, and maybe when I am in a stable, like, sort of, what's it called, like, in terms of the monetary side, if I'm, like, well supported in that department, and maybe do more of this, but until then, I will try and do as much reactions as I can. I would love to stream as much as I can as well, because I love streaming, and people that come in, and even people that just watch it and then like it, I really just do appreciate it, because, again, those are the just some of the little things. I don't focus on the numbers anymore, but if there's a community here who do want to keep watching my stuff, I'll happily entertain them as much as I can, and obviously if there comes a time when I do need to end that, there will be. We all have to, uh, all things come to an end eventually. But yeah, for now, <laughs> I would really, really hope, like especially with this new age of change coming in my life and wanting to do things like in terms of my way and wanting to, you know, do it for the love of it and do it to enjoy the moments that I have. Because again, it feels like for a long time <clears throat> I've done things other people's way and just never been able to enjoy the journey and it's only started recently where I've started to enjoy things a lot more because I'm doing the things that I love so I hope that I can put more passion into it and I can put more love into it and I can hopefully just keep doing what I love and hopefully give you guys the content that you guys deserve. I'm sorry if that was a very weird <laughs> update video but I thought I'd just give my thoughts in terms of what's been happening because last year we barely had any content. We've started to slowly do some content. So we have some momentum. We have some, obviously, live streams happening as well. So that's been really good too. I just thought I'd come on here and talk about it. Especially because it's the six year anniversary. Yeah, it's been a wild journey. And I hope that there are many more years to come. Anyway, for now, <laughs> I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I appreciate the support always. Take care of yourselves. Do what you love most importantly in life. Remember that. That's the most important thing. And I shall catch you guys very soon. Bye.